Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to the YouTube channel. It's your girl Pinky coming to do our daily devotional. Me and the Pink Flamingo. Let me see. Yes, it's afternoon. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, we're so glad that you're here. I want to invite you to hit that button and ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. Give a comment, leave a thumbs up, and then share this devotional. Let's jump right on into this. It's a good one. December 28, 2022. We got three days left. Yeah, three days left, y'all. I, I don't keep up with dates and times. Uh, this is simply called the life of Christ. Galatians 2 and 20 says, The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God. How many know that you have to have faith in order to live for God? The body that you live in, the, the body that you live for, the Christ that you live for, the God you live for, you have to have faith to believe in a God you cannot see. But let me give you a little secret. Every time you look at somebody, you see the image of God. When I look at you, I see his image because we were made in the image of God. So to say that we don't see God, when I look at you, when I look in your face, I see the glory of God all up on you. I see the presence of God up on you. When you open your mouth and when you give one of them hugs, I'm not talking about them watered down hug. One of them real kind of hugs where the recipient is saying, girl, let me go because you hug it too tight. That's a real hug. That's the image of God. And you can tell that you're living the life of Christ by the way that you live the life in Christ. It says, Jesus' first command to us was simply live. I mean, you 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 cannot live until you're told to live. How? Why would he tell us to just live? Because we're dead men walking. We come into this world as dead men because we were born and shaped in iniquity. We were conceived in sin. So when we come in the world, when we hit the, when that doctor slapped you, he slapped you into the reality that you have entered into a world of sin. And Jesus Christ is simply saying. I want you to live. He said, life is absolutely essential in spiritual matters. Until we have it, we have no way of participating in the things of God. I could testify, you know, before I before I gave myself completely wholeheartedly, I ain't talking about just going to church, watching the clock, waiting on the preacher. Will he hurry me up? No, when I completely surrendered, and I have a story of surrender, when I completely surrendered to Christ, I became alive. The old me, the old Veronica was shed. And the new me came forth. Because he said, anybody in Christ becomes new. We once were dead and now we're alive. You know, Jesus Christ looked down in the sins of our past. And he said, I got to die so that they may live. And the only way we can come to life is to accept the Christ and the redemptive work. He had to redeem us. The only way we can have life is to accept the redemptive work that Christ did on the cross. And I know sometimes you got some people, you know, I got a whole lot of them in my family that name the name of Christ, say they are blood washed, born again, believers, but their actions say something different. When you have been made alive, you've been quickened in the spirit. When you have become alive in Christ, what you used to do, you don't do no more. Yeah, you're going to slip and fall sometimes, but you don't make a lifestyle of staying in the, dirt, in the dirt and in the mud. Pigs stay in the dirt. Sheep, goats, goats, goats love the dirt. Goats love muddy stuff. Sheep, sheep don't like to be dirty. We don't, we don't like to get tied up and tangled up in stuff because we are sheep. We are a child of God. So I want to encourage you that the life that you live, let it be as a witness and a testimony for the saving, healing, delivering power of Jesus Christ. Because he is the only one that can give you life. Yeah, your mama pushed you out, gave birth to you. They probably even cut you out like mine was. He was cut out. But you still brought forth, brought forth life. But Jesus gives the ultimate life. He gives that new life, that abundant life, that eternal life. Y'all, come on here. How many got eternal life on the line today? Jesus Christ gives us that eternal life. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead on the end of this devotion. I want y'all to be blessed. Live the life that Christ has called you to live. Don't, don't deviate to the left or to the right. Don't dare look back. Go forward and live. Don't forget to hit that button and ring that bell. God bless.